Roll Over DJ by Jet on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. All right, Carl? Yeah. Bit miserable today, Carl. Let me explain why. Go on. Steve, and to you, the listeners. Well, we came in to a big, big bunch of stuff. Dropped off by, who was it, Becky from yeah. Marks and Spencer? Just like lovely stuff. Food, presents for the cat, books, just, you know, to Ricky and Steve. Ricky and Steve. Ricky and Steve who do the show, right? Ricky, Gervais and Steve Merchant. GQ presenters of the year. Creators of The Office, yeah. right? Yeah. Award winning. Carl's looking over, I go, oh, uh, so, well, maybe, oh, it's not just, not for you, no. And then, then he told me why he's grumpy anyway. Go on. Do you know what XFM are giving everyone, he's been, how long have you been here? About six years. What are you getting for Christmas from XFM? Two CDs. <laughs> <laughs> Is that of your choice or do they choose them? Uh, there's a list of about 30. Right. <laughs> Tell him what you chose. 30 CDs. I've gone for, uh, Kings of Leon album. Yeah. And, uh, the best of Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we, like, given them away in the past or something? Or you could have burnt them off, couldn't you? You could have done copies. Illegal, but you could have done that. Mm. Anytime you wanted. Talented, I, don't, I don't, don't think Bob Marley minds if you no. uh, bootleg his CDs. It's out of order, though, isn't it? It is bad. <laughs> Although you is do that get... always the case? Has it always been the truth of all the time you've been in? No, it has been better than this. Yeah, although you do get paid quite well and you do have an easy time. Yeah, but don't give me the CDs then. If it was a milkman, you don't go, oh, I have two bottles of semi-skimmed. Happy yeah. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a valid point. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Have you complained? Uh, who is it who made this decision? Oh, there's it... no point. No point, is there? Why? Just no point. I don't like moaning anyway, just... <laughs> <laughs> Has it come from up top? Is it yeah. like from the capital people? Just, just everyone. That's what everyone gets. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, well, will Christian get two CDs for getting up at four thirty every day for about five years? And keeping this station afloat. Mm, probably. Yeah. So that's why I'm a bit fed up. What yeah. you listen to first, Marley or Leon? Well, you have, uh, have a bit of yeah, a bit of Marley. I'll tell you what Marley's good for as well. You will have a little beach holiday, aren't you, over Christmas, going to Lanzarote? Mm. Listening to that on the beach, you'll 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 realise how wise XFM are in the long run. <laughs> you know, you go well. Look, they could have given me four hundred quid, right? Well, I'd have spent that. But this is, you know, the legend it's lives the gift on. That keeps on giving. So you're probably, you know, what I mean, think how much those. What you got to think of is how much those all these great songs took, not only from a, from the depth of his soul and you know uh, uh, it, all his sort of angst and knowledge and love. And then all the studio time, the marketing, and you're, they're just giving you one that. They go, oh, don't worry about that, Carl, you have it. And you go, what? All the time we spent with Bob Marley and everything. Uh, you go, have it, Carl, have it, have it, Carl, have it, Carl. And then, yeah, have that, have that. Thanks, thanks, well done. Carry on. We're still going to pay you for the work. Yeah. That's just some on top. It's a little piece of ball, free. Yeah, so don't moan, it's extra. So, I didn't have to give you it at all. Play a record, you ungrateful little swine. Some people, like the homeless, aren't getting anything this Christmas. This is my favourite. Elvis Costello track of all time. It's Alison. This wasn't on the list. <laughs> right? <laughs> Elvis Costello? Alison on XFM 104.9. So, that's it. If, well, maybe, I'll tell you what, a good idea, Carl. Just beg, just to ask for, get asked for other things. What do you want? What do you want for Christmas? You must have a big fan base out there willing to make you things. Maybe like a little, I don't know, gloves, a pair of gloves. Just a little hat. Do you want to send a uh, necklace in for Suzanne? That'd be Andy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's what she wants. Is, is Suzanne listening today? No, she's out. Right. Okay. This is the dilemma. Me and C Steve yesterday. We're trying to convince Carl that it would be a good idea to buy Suzanne a Christmas present. Mm. Okay. Now, wh 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 why aren't you going to buy a Christmas present? Explain, Carl, why you don't think you should buy a Christmas present. No, well, I've told her I'll get her one, but in the new year. We're going away on holiday and that, so yeah. there's no point taking stuff away. Yeah. Going to Lanzarote next week. Just get something in the sales after Christmas. For this, yeah. Yeah. Right. And we, me and Steve were trying to explain to Carl that she would love it if you bought her something on Christmas Day. Yeah, but she knows now. D but, Knows yeah. what? I've told her. So no, well, I'm gonna tell her, you know, right, this, dear listener, this was Carl's worry. I said, I bet she's got you something. 
and Carl was worried in case he got her something and she hadn't got him something. Yeah. He'd be livid. He didn't want to be down. He didn't want to be a present down. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face! So buy a nice necklace. Don't spend- just spend 100 quid, you know, just a little token. We're going away. We aren't taking her away on holiday. They're not taking her away on holiday. What, what, you're paying for it, are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you really? Well, half and half and that. Right. So you're so... paying for you to go on holiday. <laughs> That's good of you. So the gift is your company, really. <laughs> just done all right. She's done all right. Why do you talk like you're sixty years old? <laughs> she's and you've been working down the mines. <laughs> she's. I love that she's done all right. Do you go home to her and say, Suzanne, you're bloody lucky. I mean, you've fallen on your feet. Look who you've it, got. What? I'm not sure she has done all right. <laughs> I don't want to be critical, but. <laughs> oh dear. So what are you going to get in the sales? What are you going to get? Her? Oh, it depends. Um, I'm thinking. I mean, I'll give her the choice. She can have Kingsley and all Bob Marley. <laughs> 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 right, I'll let her decide there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. dear. Oh. Uh, I can't wait to see you. Where, where are you going, Lanzarote? Yeah. Where's that? I don't know, Suzanne sorted it. I, out. I, I said, I said, I said, uh, Lanzarote, what, I said, is that, I said, is that Africa or is it Spain or Portugal? Just thought you were, I don't know, I went, what do you mean, don't know? I goes, well, what's the currency went? I don't know. I said, Suzanne booked this one, did she? <laughs> yeah. I thought, uh, so, um, where is it? Is it, is Lanzarote African or? Foreign. Somewhere, oh, somewhere foreign. I was looking last night, and, uh, doesn't look that good. <laughs> there was, there, like, one of the highlights of the things it says you've got to do is go and have, uh, apparently they've got restaurants in caves, and that's, like, mm. one of the things they say you must do. Mm. So, <laughs> if that's a highlight, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. So we'll do that, go and see what that's like. Yeah. When you're on the beach, Carl, do you wear the very, very tight speedos? No. Do you walk around them? Uh, sort of longest shorts, yeah. t-shirt on, probably with a sort of a light shirt on top of that. Right, sure. So uh, quite quite wrapped up then. Covered up. Do you wear a hat? Because obviously the bald head there is <laughs> risk of sunburn. Uh, no, I just put a bit of lotion on it. Lotion on there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. just have a bit of a wander, wander down the beach, have a look. Yeah. See if there's any old blokes with their tackle out and a backpack. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to look forward to. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, uh, we're looking forward to finding out how you get on. Yeah. Like and uh, interested to know what she gives you on Christmas Day. Uh, more scintillating chat after this next song. Right, better placebo. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Special needs. 